Bring me a little water now. Bring me a little water, Sylvie. Hey, yo, what's crack a like on my community today? My name is Olivia Book Life. If you guys are your wish popping. this highly in the thumbnail today we're we'll talking about how you can spot a fake friend okay now I did the same video like a whole year ago but I decided to you know do it again and you know revamp it to give y'all some more information on how to spot a fake as a bitch okay so let's get on the first way to spot a fake friend is that they only hit you up when they want something okay this friend barely talks to you you know they don't talk to you about shit they don't hit you up they don't ask how you're doing but every time they do hit you up you know it's always like hey you got a dollar i could borrow hey you trying to give me a ride to work hey girl how you doing trying to give me a discount at whatever store you work at you know they only hit you up when they want something and it's really not cool at all so if you know somebody like that it's time for you to cut them off and that's not what Period. another way you can spot a fake friend is if they put you down or bully you, you feel me you and your friends joke around right you know you and your friends make fun of each other for fun right but if there's something you don't feel comfortable being called or there's something that you just really don't like and you let them know and they still do it even though you ask them nicely and you need to cut them off like they do it once it's fine they didn't know but if they do it again they knew damn well and they just decided to fuck with you anyway people like that you might as well just cut off honey okay if you know somebody like that cut them the fuck off for example if you tell them a secret and stuff like that if you tell them a secret that was very very personal and you thought you can trust them with this information but when they find out that certain thing about you they start judging you and putting you down and stuff like that that is not what a real friend does a real friend will help you through it a real friend will keep your secret they won't judge you for anything that you do okay but a fake friend will fuck you over they'll make fun of you they'll put you down for whatever you told them and that's not what a real friend does okay so cut that bitch off if they doing that to you okay you do not deserve that type of stuff if they doing stuff like that to you you do not deserve it you need to cut them off and that's on what period boom, period another way you can spot a fake friend is if they come to you for help but it's not mutual you feel me your friend is supposed to be the person that you go to for all your problems your friend's supposed to be the person that is supposed to be there for you when you cry when you're angry your friend is supposed to be the person that you vent to but if they're the only ones venting and you're the only one solving their problems and it's not mutual then that's not your friend if you have a problem and like you're crying and you're sad and you're going through stuff and they don't want to listen they don't want to do nothing for you they don't want to help you and they're not your friend okay they are not your motherfucking friend a real friend would be there for you they would listen to you they would be there for you they will support you in any way possible but a fake friend doesn't give a fuck about you okay they only care about what you can do for them not so much as being an actual good friend if you know somebody like that it's time to cut them bitches off okay they gotta go the next way you can spot a fake friend is when they make a mistake and you call them out on it they get mad at you you feel me i know this fake friend makes fun of you when you make a mistake or they put you down when you do something stupid but then when they have a problem and you actually call them out on it like a good friend would they get mad at you and they make it seem like everything is your fault it might have nothing to do with you but they still do that because that's what fake bitches do if you know somebody who puts the blame on you for stuff even though you know that it's not your fault you need to cut them off because they're manipulative they're trying to get you to be on their side this is their show and you're just their coach star that that's how their world works that's how manipulative friends come that's how toxic friends come they're only thinking about themselves they're not thinking about anybody else but themselves you feel me cut them off because you do not deserve that type of bullshit okay also with this friend especially if they do something wrong to you and your your feelings are hurt a real friend will apologize and try to win your trust back but a fake friend doesn't care for your respect they don't care to apologize they don't care that they made you feel unhappy which is why they don't take accountability for their actions okay you don't want somebody like that you want somebody who knows they did wrong and they want to genuinely fix it you can tell by somebody energy when they don't want to do things for you you know whatever energy you throw at them if they're not throwing it back to you they're not a true friend you know another way you can spot a fake friend is if they always ask information about 
your other friend, right? If they're constantly asking you about that other person, they're fake because if they're if they're constantly asking things about your friend or constantly asking about tea for about this person, they just want to start drama and they just want all the tea. They only want you for information on somebody else. They don't want to actually be your friend. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Watch out for those people because they will really screw up your life. And also, this is where you need to make sure that you're not spreading any personal information about somebody because when someone else tells you something, they tell you that in confidence. If you're just gonna go and tell somebody else, that's fucked up. If that person wanted you to tell somebody about their business, they would have asked you to tell somebody. You need to be mindful about who you tell certain information to. There's just some people who will use it against you and will really just fuck you over. Whoa, pause on that though. This also kind of stands in this category as well. If you notice that like they're always talking about someone in your friend group, they're always talking shit about somebody, they're always making fun of somebody, they're most likely talking about you the way they talk about somebody else, you know? Like if your friend talk about, look at her hair, she got yarn for braid, look at that ugly ass bitch. But then when she come up to her, she's like, oh hey girl, how you doing? How you doing? Hey girl, hey best friend. And then she walks away and then again she talking shit. I be quiet, but when he leave, I be talking again. Here's, here's how I see it. If she talking shit on one person, then she's definitely talking shit on another person. There are people who really just talk shit about everyone. Even their own best friend. They talk shit about their own best friend. Watch out who you hang out with, because there are so many fake bitches out there Hella motherfucking fake dirt. Oh my gosh. Like another way you can spot a fake friend is if you know more information about them than they know about you. You know everything personal about them. You know the favorite color. You know the favorite food. You know everything about them. But it's not the same when it comes to you. When you try to talk, they don't let you talk because all they talk about is themselves. If you know more than they know about you, that means they talk about themselves too much. And that means they're not truly your friend. There's so many people people who have no respect and they will just cut you off while you talking. They're bored with your story. They're bored with you, which is why they keep cutting you off. So if you know somebody like that, you need to stop being their motherfucking friend because that is not a true friend, okay? Now it's different when they don't know shit about you because you don't share anything about yourself. But when you at least try to tell them more about yourself and they just don't listen or they don't care to remember, they're not really your friend. They're only your friend because they want someone to talk about themselves too. You know, like you could really just tell when a relationship is one-sided. Like you ever be by yourself and you see people talking to each other and like you know Know who the main person talking in the conversation is that means it's really one-sided like if you constantly find yourself listening all the time and never speaking if talking to this person feels like talking to a brick wall then it most likely is like that meaning it's it's a one-sided relationship if it feels one-sided then they're not your friend okay I feel like everyone knows how it feels to have a one-sided relationship like when one person is doing all the work and all the heavy work and the other person is just there like it wouldn't matter if you were there or not it feels like you're just there to fill up the space for them to talk to you know that's really how it feels with some people like here is the one that is the most essential to you. Another way you can spot a fake friend is if they blatantly start drama, meaning like they come up to you talk about, oh, this person was talking shit about you. Oh, this person said this and this and that about you. Oh, this person did this to you. Oh, this person did that. Oh my God, this person, this and that. You should beat this person ass. If they're encouraging you to fight, if they keep telling you somebody talking shit about you, if they keep trying to start drama, they're not your friend, okay? In case you're not sure like you know how to see that they're doing that that they're trying to start drama here is a little test you can give your friends okay and it works every time you ask your friend two questions okay one what did you do to defend me and the second question you should ask them is why do they feel comfortable talking shit about me in front of you how are they talking shit about me when they know you're my friend you know there's people who really want to start bullshit for no fucking reason there's really people like that another way to spot a fake friend is if 
they throw you under the bus. Now, this probably is an obvious one, but there's people who still forgive somebody after throwing somebody under the bus. For example, right, you know, when you with your friends, y'all do dumb stuff. I mean, at least me and my friends do dumb stuff. When friends do bad things, they might get in trouble. But you know what? If y'all get in trouble, y'all go down together. Not one person should go down, okay? But when y'all get in trouble and one of your friends throws you under the bus, they are a fake friend. Friend, if they keep snitching on you, if they keep telling your motherfucking business everywhere, that is not your friend. It means you're only their friend to fulfill their purpose of not getting in trouble. You're the person that takes the fall, or you're the person that gets in trouble, you're the person that takes the blame every time, and you should not be that person. If you know somebody, they throw you under bus, do not be their friend. Cut their asses off, okay? Cut them off, period, okay, period. Another way you can spot a fake friend is if they don't keep their word. Now, there's so many ways someone cannot keep their word. Like, for example, if y'all plan something for weeks, like, if y'all plan, for example, a sleepover, y'all plan it for weeks, y'all all, like, excited and stuff, but then, like, the day before or the day of, they cancel, and it happens on multiple, multiple occasions, they're fake, they're not your friend, okay? You need to cut them off immediately. I understand somebody canceling for things important, if there's an emergency, they have to cancel, or they can't come, or some bullshit like that, but if it's, like, constantly happening, like, every time y'all make plans, that's not cool. It also works when it's the other way around, you know, when they have a party, when they have an event, and they don't invite you, when they say, oh, we should do something, and then they don't invite you when they actually do something. You're not your real friend. Just need you to be fucking careful who you put your trust into, okay? As the wise words of Drake say, no new friends, no new friends, no, 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 okay? No new friends. Period. The last way to spot a fake friend is if they give you backhanded compliments. A backhanded compliment is when someone's like praising you but putting you down at the exact same time. For example, so if someone like comes up to you and it's like, oh my god, you're pretty for a black girl, that's a backhanded compliment. It's a compliment behind a diss, okay? The first half of the sentence. You're pretty, right? That's all they could have said. They could have just said, you're pretty and that's it. But then they added for a black girl, okay? That was a diss. They could have just kept the compliment in the beginning and moved on, but they decided to add the diss, which makes them fake. They're not your real friend. That means they're jealous of you. That means they don't envy you. That means they have a problem with your success. They don't give a fuck about you at all. I just scratched myself really badly. I just peeled my own skin off doing that. And I'm bleeding. <laughs> what the f- Like, I'm bleeding now. Great. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get rinse off my hands because it's bleeding. <laughs> As I was saying, backhanded compliments really show their jealousy. It really shows their pettiness. It really shows that they're mad that you're successful. It's like saying, oh, wow, you did better than I thought. They could have just said, oh, you did better. Instead of saying, than I thought. You know, it really shows how Fake they truly, truly are. And if you know somebody like that, you need to cut them off, okay? Moral of this whole video is be careful who you attach yourself with, be careful who you associate yourself with, because if you stay associated with the wrong person for a long time, you might become one of them, because you are who you associate yourself with, okay? If you associate yourself with nine broke people, you're the 10th broke person, okay? But anyway, y'all, thank y'all for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. Also, turn post notifications so I will get notified when I upload a new video because I upload two times a week, boo. Okay, I also have social media. My main Instagram is King Down Linen, and my spam Instagram is King's Castle Spam, and my Twitter is King's Castle 13. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Feel free to type it out yourselves, okay? Okay, I love y'all so, so, so much. You don't even know. I'll see y'all next motherfucking video, okay? <laughs> Peace.